Hey everyone, Hitbo TC here with another guide video. This time we're going to focus on the new Trident of Dark Tides and all of the awesome things you can do with it. We're going to cover where to find it, how much damage it does, how much ammo it has, and some pretty great uses for them. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below your favorite thing about these new Tridents, and subscribe so you never miss a new video. With a Pirate's Life update for Sea of Thieves, we have a brand new weapon that has been introduced into the Sea of Thieves, the Trident of Dark Tides. This new weapon can be used in both PvE and PvP and can be found all over the world of Sea of Thieves. You can find them in shipwrecks, washed up on the shore of islands, barrels while you're sailing the seas, defeating things like the Megalodon, Kraken, and Skeleton ships. You can even find them at Skeleton Forts in the vaults, and on occasion, even the Siren leaders themselves will drop them. However, I do want to make a quick mention that when we were collecting all of these tridents for this video, every single shipwreck we went to had a trident in them, and some of them had two. So spawn rates in shipwrecks seem to be very high. So if you're trying to find one, maybe look for the nearest shipwreck and go there. Let's talk about the trident a little bit. Each trident has a limited amount of 30 charges and can be charged up to shoot a stronger orb. There are three orbs that you can shoot. The small orb takes one charge of ammo. It is the fastest to shoot, shoots the fastest orb, and does 30 damage per orb. The medium orb takes two charges of ammo, takes a bit longer to shoot, is a little slower and easier to dodge, and does a total of 60 damage. And the third and the final orb, the large orb, takes three charges of ammo, takes the longest to shoot, is the slowest orb making it easy to see, but does a massive amount of damage of 90 damage to its target. And it has a huge kickback, a splash, uh, whatever you want to call it, but it does knock your target pretty far back. However, it is worth mentioning that the third orb that you shoot, it is slow, and if an enemy sees what's going on, they can actually shoot the orb out of the air. So though it does a massive amount of damage, it's also easy to stop uh, when shot at a pirate. Now, just to verify that each trident has 30 charges, I grabbed a fully charged one and shot it until it disappeared in my hands. I also tested to see if the large orb would take three charges away, and I was able to confirm that a brand new trident does in fact have 30 charges, and a small orb counts as one, a medium orb counts as two, and a large orb counts as three charges. Now, let's talk about using this thing in a fight. First, in a PvP fight, they're great tools to use. Not only do they deal a massive amount of damage, but they do have some pretty awesome knockback as well. In our tests, I discovered that these tridents are absolutely amazing anti-border weapons. If you ever have a pirate who's just sitting on the bottom of your ladder waiting to go up, you can actually just charge up your trident and shoot the deck of your ship, and this pirate will go flying. There will be no damage to your ship, and the scurvy dog will get knocked so far back they won't be able to grab the ladder again so for all you solo sloopers it may be a benefit to you to have this trident with you at all times at least on your ship and like i mentioned earlier of course this weapon does 30 damage for the small orb 60 damage for the medium orb and for the large orb it does 90 damage which does a massive amount of damage to the enemy pirate so in just that sense alone, it's a great weapon to have, and you can really use that to your advantage. Now, talking about PvE, in our tests, something interesting happened. There seems to be some sort of damage buff for the Trident when you're facing off against PvE. For example, killing a shark takes two three-hit combos with your sword to bring down a shark. At 25 damage per slice, that brings the total health of a shark to around 150. However, with a fully charged trident orb, you can bring a shark down with one shot. Now, from our tests earlier, we know that a fully charged trident, the large orb being shot at a pirate, does 90% damage, which leads me to believe there's some sort of buff to your damage when facing off against PvE. I even notice it when fighting just various PvE around the seas. To fully test this out, me and Stray took on an Ashen Lord and got it pretty much destroyed in 35 large orb shots, which makes some very fast work of some tough PvE fights 
especially for you solo sloopers out there. I even encountered a Meg and used the Trident on the Meg and brought it down pretty fast and honestly fairly easy. So these new Tridents seem to work even better against PvE than PvP. And the Trident seems to have some sort of damage multiplier on it when using it against PvE. Just with that alone, having this with you on any voyage that you go on or world events is gonna make these things really really easy and if you group up pve like skeletons all in one big kind of group one large orb will take them all out all this to say some very interesting stuff and worth having with you on your ship all in all this new weapon and tool with sea of thieves is a pretty big game changer and when used properly can really change the tide of a fight or simply make it easier for you to take on world events and encounters within the sea of thieves what do you think let me know in the comments below and I will see you scurvy dogs out on the seas. Stop, I just stopped my ship flying across from behind you. <laughs>